Rock and Roll and Stone! Rock and Stone, everyone. Welcome back to the Hopeless Hobby Addicts channel. Today is episode 15 of my How to Paint Deep Rock Galactic series. Today I'll be working on rocks and stones, Bosco, the turrets, and the supply pod. As always, I'm going to go for the tabletop ready, easy approach using Army Painter Speed Paints and some normal acrylic paint as well. All the links will be down in the description below so you can hop around to your heart's content. If you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I am trying to grow my subscriber base and keep this hobby going. So, part one is really exciting. Who doesn't love painting rocks? I went for a brown style and a gray style. First up was Vallejo Games Color Earth as a base coat over the gray primer. I try to leave the square surface gems that are protruding out unpainted so I can come back and hit them with different colors shortly. I also tried out the largest brush I got from the Army Painter dry brush set this week. It wasn't bad. I'm just not sure if it's $20 good yet, so the verdict is still out. I layered up two more times, each time adding a little more white to the earth color to lighten it up. Finally, I put on a coat of Agrax Earthshade. Mine is homemade, but you probably have something brown or the real GW stuff around. If you need to make some, as always, I'll drop a, a line for Luke's uh, Geek Gaming Scenics down in the description. He's got some great recipes that'll help you save some money. I wanted to paint the gems in various colors, trying to pull in some of the colors you'd be hunting for in the actual game. Nitra being one, I made some Army Painter War Paints gemstone colored ones. It's like a metallic red. I also did some green Army Painter Wizard Orb for some of the rocks. After that, I randomly select some of the other gems to be polished gold and bright bronze, both of which are Vallejo Game Color line paint. For my gray rocks, I start with a gray dry brush, then a lighter gray dry brush, and then I add a little white to that for the final level. Once that dries, I hit the rock with a black wash. Any will really do here. We're just trying to get those grooves and cracks to uh, have some contrast. Followed the same idea of the gemstones as the brown rock. This time I did the Army Painter Gemstone, Army Painter Wizard Orb, and Vallejo Game Color Glorious Gold. And I called it good.
Part two was the supply pod. I primed this in black and then dry brushed an even coat of gum metal over the whole upper portion with the intention of going over most of this with a speed paint to give it a colored metallic appearance. I went with the Army Painter Fire Giant Orange speed paint over all those metal panels on the upper half, except the middle portion where the ammo supplies have come out. That stays a gunmetal color. For the base rock, I put down Vallejo Game Color Earth as the base, dry brushed on some Army Painter Desert Yellow, and then in a final dry brush with the Desert Yellow mixed with some matte white. We're going to want to color up those little squares in it with a bright color, so I want those solid white. I also hit those four rectangle lights along the top of the unit. I spent a few minutes cleaning up the supply tray that popped out of the side of the pod and I put back down gun metal anywhere in that middle section around the ammo tray, clean up any orange that got on there. I also decided to hit the bolt heads on each of those side panels. There's four little bolt heads on each one. For those four squares I painted white in the supply tray, I went with Plasmatic Bolt Speed Paint. I also used that on the four little rectangular lights around the top of the pod. I 
I decided to mess around with my Army Painter Battlefield Brown Battleground Rock I had. I hadn't really used this before. I created some disturbed dirt by putting some basing glue in those deep valleys on the rock right by where the drill hit, and then I sprinkled in that battleground rock through there to make it look like the drill had dug that out and it was spilling down the side of the rock. I went back and hit the drill bits, the base of the rock, and some of the brown battle rocks I put in with Agrax Earthshade and called it good. Part three was Bosco. I primed Bosco up off camera. I did him in black, then did the same dry brush of gunmetal like the previous supply pod. And then I ended up putting down a coat of Army Painter Cloudburst Blue over that. It's a very dark blue. I wanted to attempt a bright gold trim around those plates on Bosco. So I grabbed some Vallejo Game Colored Polished Gold, a really damn small brush, and steadied my hands as best as I could. For the two front lights, I painted them up white first. I then went back to the top light and hit it with Sand Golem Speed Paint. And the bottom light I hit with Plasmatic Bolt Speed Paint. The base rock is the same as a supply pod, dry brush Vallejo Earth, Army Painter Desert Yellow, and then the matte white and desert yellow for the final layer.
finish off the bases, I do my usual black ink with a touch of matte medium just to cut the gloss down. Part four was the turrets. I started with a white prime turret. I painted the stand in black all the way up to the little neck that attaches to the upper half. Over the top half, I did gunmetal over the white. Next, I put Army Painter Speed Paint Camo Cloak over the whole upper portion that I did in the gunmetal. Uh, I did skip the barrels, the tube pipe things on the side and the block around the front barrels. I didn't want to cover those in green. The gun model is pretty tiny, so I decided to put the focus on the barrels, those tubes on the side, and the feet by adding some colors to make them kind of pop out more. For the tubing on the side, I went with Vallejo Game Color Bright Bronze. I also hit one little part on each of the gun base feet with that as well. I go back with Army Painter War Paints Gunmetal for some edge highlights, barrel highlight, a small tube on the back side, and the rim around the light. And I clean up that front section around the gun barrels too. For the light lens, I tried some Fire Giant Orange and called the turret done. Mission completed. You're performing well. Wrapping it all up now. I'll let some pictures roll here for a minute so you can pause as needed. And then I'll come back and see you in person in a moment. All right, so next week we've got Molly and a golden loop bug because why not? After that, I do want to re-record the first four episodes or at least have a version two. Uh, I've learned a lot filming these last 15 episodes, fixed some camera angles, got a little better recording setup now. So, you know, I love my rock and stone and I want to do Deep Galactic right. So you'll look for those somewhere in the next few weeks as well as I finish up doing my own set of models for the game. Outside of that, I appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you soon.